Welcome to Kerr 9000's Horror House. Hello boys and ghouls. Recently, I picked this film up, Wrong Turn 2 Dead End, for a pound from a retro video game store. I'd reviewed Wrong Turn 1, 4 and the remake, so figured I'd grab this one. Wrong Turn 2 Dead End is a 2007 American slasher film directed by Joe Lynch, starring Erica Leeson, Henry Rollins and Texas Battle. It's of course the sequel to the aforementioned Wrong Turn, and the second instalment in the Wrong Turn series. Now, I knew very little about this going into it, and I kind of was thinking it would probably be worse than the first one, because the law of averages is usually that horror movies get worse as they go along. But I don't think that's true at all. Okay, so for the plot, basically it's set around a survival reality game show, called the Apocalypse Ultimate Survivalist, which is being held at a West Virginian forest. So what you get here is you've got a former US Marine Colonel, a guy called Dale Murphy, who's hosting the show, and all the contestants are going around with cameras on them. You've got the show's producer who takes part, Mara. You've got a lesbian Iraq war veteran amber a lingerie model eleanor a former football player jake uh jonesy who's a skateboarding jackass and a graphic artist nina now they soon come across the cannibals yes this film for those who haven't seen it is about inbred mutated cannibal freaks so we're not really talking highbrow entertainment here this film is very B-movie territory, but what I love about it is that somehow it's managing to parody the whole reality TV thing, be a horror film, and also throws in action sequences. It's kind of like somebody took wrong turn, added a pinch of Big Brother, and mixed it with a massive dollop of Arnold Schwarzenegger's Commando. And... Although incredibly dumb at points, this film is a great thrill ride. It is full of gore, full of laughs, full of over-the-top sequences, and it is an absolute pleasure to watch. It is pure schmulky enjoyment for all of its around 90 minutes. It's perfectly paced, never gets boring. I was really, really a fan of it. If I was to look at more classic films in the genre, something it reminds me a lot of is Texas Chainsaw Massacre 2. Because it has the gore, but it also doesn't take itself as serious as other films in the genre. Okay, I would give this film a seriously good rating, and I think with repeat watches it would only get better. It's a really good film to watch with somebody else into horror. Maybe a good pizza and booze film, in my honest opinion. That's Kerr 9000 signing off, saying, Keep on watching those scary movies. Take care of yourself and each other's. Laters, taters. A Squiffy Bear Production. Hi, it's Kerr 9000, the Chrome Face Man. I'd just like to say thank you for making it to the end of my video. I've got lots of stuff on my channel. My horror house doing horror reviews games room doing games, sci-fi station, it's absolutely chock-a-block full. I can also be found on the Retro Gamer U forum, which is full of great people, great laugh. At the end of this video there's going to be some little icons to tick if you want to subscribe, a link to one video, a link to a playlist. I'd also like to recommend the wonderful, talented Just Jessica, who does cosy games like Dreamlight Valley, and is my supportive partner. Thank you ever so much once again for watching my video and particularly if you follow me thank you for all your support and have a great rest of your day <laughs>